Good morning. I have to change your battery really, really, really soon. But before I do that, this is very confusing to me. I have days where rendering is so extremely slow, like painfully slow. And now, motherfucking fast. Sometimes like a minute can take about 15 minutes of rendering. And I have no clue what it is because it's one day after the other, it's completely different. So if someone knows that, what the problem is <laughs> with Premiere Pro CS6, why it does that sometimes? I will be very grateful. Now, let me change your battery. <laughs> Morning guys. Sometimes I question my dressing skills, but I just have to go to the bank. So. What ifs? Yuri said he's out for a run, so he asked me to do the annotations and that's what I'm doing right now. And it's such a pain. You can't really say, hey, copy this. Um, it's just it's stupid, it doesn't work. In other news, I think I'm done with David Tennant's video diaries. I mean, I think I'm missing season two, but I've just, that's the end, his golden wrap. The thing is, I, I really like David Tennant, not only as the doctor. I think if I had to choose Doctor Who or David Tennant, I would say David Tennant. It's not, I like him because of Doctor Who, but maybe too, but I also saw him on stage and in other things, so I, I seriously like the actor. And there was a moment in the diaries, I think, in part three. Yeah, in part three. I want to show you because that's kind of scary. If you have a lot of fans and especially with the actors, if they go to a radio station, it's announced. People know they are coming. So there are a lot of fans gathering in front of the studios already. And I was thinking of YouTube stars, Philly D in London or Corey or whoever was there, um, Toby. Some of them had to hire security because it was just too insane. And I can't imagine diving into the crowd of fans. I would be so terrified and scared because you're just in the middle. Everybody wants to have something and crap you and autogram and talk to you and whatever. It's just like, ooh, I want to show you the scene because this made me, it's not a big crowd, but still he's basically diving into them and I'm like, wow, he completely disappeared and then he dove out of them again so he, he already there he's already in there somewhere it's a moment when he appears again see that's a lot better <laughs> i had the strangest thing happening to my hair and i'm 23 now so i pretty much know how my hair usually goes this is weird normally my hair always went backwards because it wouldn't stick in the same direction and now it is all going to the front it's weird i mean i don't don't like it but it is completely different to what i'm used to i seriously have always hated my hair for how it was because i can't really do anything like especially with like putting it up in a certain way because my hair always does this like <laughs> That you've noticed it in the vlogs when it gets longer it goes all over the place stuff like that and all of a sudden it is going the different direction and there she is hello mrs fluffball can you clean up here it looks like hell it's it's a weird feeling looking at our nigo campaign we currently have um, 864 dollars and that's fucking amazing thinking about it we, we don't have the huge following or everything but i wish we could give you guys something for a dollar or five dollars where you're like yes we want to have that like a perk you want to have which and which doesn't cost us like ten dollars in return if you know what i mean so we still have the money which we can put in the project so i'm i'm this is a serious request if you guys want to have something we can give you as a perk please tell us i'm, I'm happy to add it there so I'm sort of halfway through the vlog and uh, that should be done within now an hour. Yes, it is awesome weather outside, so I think I'm going for a run in a bit. Or at least a motivational walk. <laughs> we'll see where we go. Success and uh, the post office is closed already so I can't do that. I can do it on Monday. The thing is, I have a mobile phone contract in Germany, but I want to get rid of it because I'm paying like 20 euros every month and I'm not using it and they keep on charging and charging. And I told them that I'm moving to the US, so I'm here. And they were like, yeah, well, you can just freeze your account when you're coming back, then um, you just use it. I'm not sure when I'm coming back. So apparently you can get out of the contract, but I would have to pay like 150 euros. So I might as well just let it run. 
just found the perfect machine. I told you I won the puff, but they were really expensive here. And they have a new product out and it comes in this cute suitcase thing. Well, I know it's just paper, <laughs> but it's awesome. And today it costs $5.99 instead of $6.99. I can't afford it right now, but the machine is awesome. It, it's exactly what I was looking for. So I will bring back the singer and I will get this one. And that's it. She just showed it to me and um, there are the stitches. It's not crazy, but it's exactly what I want. And the stitches are just gorgeous. That's the machine I want. I have to wait for the other machine because I can't afford it right now. But it's so good. I finally found the perfect machine. This is exactly what I wanted. And the price is really okay because Puff is a great company. Maybe I should contact them. I mean, I will be making tutorials and stuff. Maybe they sponsor me one. Silly moon, it's daytime! And we're back at the beautiful running place today. I hope you can hear me decently because there is a lot of wind, especially on this area. Sometimes I don't even come here for running, just for, for, just for randomly walking, like a half hour or something like that. And, but now you know, it is it's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome here. <laughs> It looks beautiful, it's nature, <sighs> especially with this sun, it is awesome. Fun story, that is the bridge that Sarah and I filmed part of her next up video. You can't really see the wall, but I was standing on the outside railing to film Sarah. And yes, I was shooting bricks. <laughs> As you know, I'm afraid of heights. Whoop. Let's get inside. <laughs> I don't get it. It says wild cherry. And then look what's on there. There's even an apple on there. And in the mix is pear, apple, Berry, cherry, grape, citrus. Don't market it with wild cherry. That's a lie. Oh, hello. What's up? Not much? Don't look at me like this. I'm not gonna eat you. Well, I'm hungry. Funny story, I was entering the cold shop over there where I found the uh, sewing machine and a woman was walking next to me so I let her in first and she instantly started talking to me about the weather and how warm it is and that you actually need to check it outside but in the car it's super warm and you just want to take off your clothes and whatever and I was, at first I was like whoa whoa whoa, whoa too much but um, she actually came back later and she was like hey I, I you, you were just talking about that you're from Germany and my cousin lives there and I'm wondering about going there and do you know the city she's living in and she showed it to me and it's so funny I was like hey that's probably in Hessen and fun part is it is it's just like you see certain names even if you don't know them it's a very tiny city but by the name I could tell from which region of Germany it's from in the south we have a certain way towns are called and I'm not very familiar with that part in the north because I haven't really been there in the middle ages or before after I'm not quite sure a lot of people left Germany from the north and they went to America and even before so a lot of the English language is from Northern Germany, so if they speak in their plot, it almost sounds like English. Anyhow, they came from towns like Basedo, Basedo, and that name continued to be in the name last names. For example, John Baso uh, actually discovered a city or a town in Northern Germany, which is called Basedo or Basedo or however they pronounce it there. It's like if your last name is London, you probably, or your ancestors come from London. Same thing. Isn't that beautiful? Nature, you're beautiful. Let's have a nice cup of coffee. There we go. Let's see what Chai is doing. I was just throwing the mouse in the corner and she's like, I'm not sure if she's allowed on the sofa at home. Let's see. Well, she's allowed here. Look, Jay, hop. 
I love the fluff. The fluff is awesome. And it's a broken kitty. She breaks down again, which is awesome. And she's purring. I think I was talking about it. One of my videos on my main channel was blocked for ad revenue and I don't know why because of the contest and the contest rules and the TNC there was a section where it said you can't put ads on there but I didn't see it I was super tight and you know it hit my face it still hurts but it's not as bad anymore anyhow so the guy actually wrote me on Facebook and I was like what the hell <laughs> so that's pretty awesome of them I didn't win or anything but hey at least they know who I am now Guess where I am? I'm, gra I'm back at my grandmother's after running. I haven't been on the skill in a while. And um, to compensate for the fact that I usually don't drink coffee here, she today she got a new Sensei machine that you guys know from a Cerami having it. And this one actually looks really nice. It's plastic, nice. Chai, did you switch on golf? I don't want to see golf. No. We're not watching golf. Let's see how much my fat ass weighs. And that's how you kill a camera. Sorry guys. That's not that bad. I really love watching cooking shows and I'm like, I wanna cook. I wanna make cooking videos. I need someone for the camera. <laughs> because you see how it ends when I set up the camera. It just falls in my face. Yes, BB, exactly. Yes! Shh. Did I mention this earlier this morning? We had this situation. Chai, what are you doing? BB is not for gnomes. Right? Yep. Stupid silly cat. This has to be the most easy programming ever. So far, we have had all questions perfect score is it me or are the questions just so damn easy i think i might be a genius sometimes <laughs> if i want to all day long i have this weird sensation of hey yuri's coming back we can do yeah we can do stuff and go shopping and it's just stupid grocery shopping and i just go acts like Shh. he's getting excited when i'm getting excited. yes i know so even grocery shopping or cooking eggs. I'm like, he's back soon. It's still like two weeks or so, but I, I'm I'm seriously getting excited. I'm like, yes, finally life starts again. This vlogging will be so much better and doing things here and ah! My stomach says rumbly, so you know what that means. That's gonna make me numbs. And I have to catch up with Dr. Hun if still haven't watched the last two episodes. Awesome thing is that we're still getting awesome links for watching it in full HD. I totally forget to watch it every single Saturday. So, watching some Doctor Who while I'm making gnomes. Sounds like a good deal to me. I just remembered we actually have a theme, <laughs> hipster. So, I put on my outfit from New York. If you haven't seen the videos, I'll link them down there. And let's put on some hipster classes. So, what do you think? Good enough? That's already not normal, but I actually found something. Wait for it. I can't even remember buying those. They would have been perfect, but heels, indoors, flat. Mm. I have to run, of course, because I'm late as always. Not too late though, but late. This is the best game ever. Say hello to Chai. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I've had this game for quite a while and I actually finished it and it is pretty good for what it is. <laughs> oh my god! This is amazing!
I just came home and look who's there. Are you hungry or what? It has been the longest American party I have attended so far. And yeah, my phone is pretty much dead. <laughs> I could charge it in between, but it's dead again. So I can't show you. It's late. <laughs> I'm feeding the monster. Oh, I just found my Fitbit. Ah, oh, that's exactly where I wouldn't have looked. And I'm going to bed now. I see you tomorrow. Bye. It's about four in the morning and about three and a half hours ago, I already ended the vlog, stuff like that. But I woke up because I had to pee really badly. TMI, I'm sorry about that. The thing is, because of the fact that I got out of bed and I was comfortable, I now know when I go back, I will not fall asleep for at least an hour because of the fact that I will not be comfortable. Just after I ended the vlog, I also have had my flight booked officially for the 4th, which is in two weeks. Because of that, I was also dreaming about already flying there. Maybe that got me too excited. <laughs> Since my ending from earlier doesn't really mean anything anymore, I will end the vlog now then. <laughs> um, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome day. And I'm going to end this awesome bottle of taxi, which is pretty much just fruit punch type thing, but then very, very tasty. Uh, yep, yeah, that sounds about right for me. Good night, guys.